Hi, I'm Gail from Our Space. Hi, I'm Peggy from Our Space, and welcome to another one of our craft videos. And we have with us today our two student interns. Rowena. Hi, I'm Sonia. So what are we making today? Today, we are making edible bugs. So here is mine, it's a caterpillar. Here's mine is a butterfly. I made a dragonfly. I made a snail. Great. All right. So before we get started um, on our craft, we're going to do some breathing exercises and we're going to do silly nose breathing today. So this or what you're going to do is you're going to take one of your fingers and plug your nostril on the same side as your hand and you're going to breathe in, hold it for two seconds and then switch your fingers and your nostrils and breathe out. And if you can't do that, don't worry. You can just take some deep breaths in and out um, and follow along with us. And we're gonna do that twice. Great. Okay. All right, is everyone ready? Yes. Yeah. All right, so put your finger on your nostril and breathe in. Switch your fingers and breathe out. And we're gonna do it one more time. So put your finger on your nostril and you're gonna breathe in. And then you're gonna switch and breathe out. All right. Hey, I love that, very relaxing. I know, that's nice. What supplies do we need? Fruits and vegetables and cream cheese or nut butter. Okay, great. So this craft obviously can be varied in so many ways, but we're going to just go around and show, say how we made ours. And then I'm going to make another one after I do. So this is a caterpillar and I use celery for the bottom. I use cream cheese for the body. And then on top of the cream cheese, I put blueberries and I used cucumber slices. And of course, an adult can do the slicing of the parts for you. I use cucumber slices for the antennas. And then for the eyes, I put a little dab of cream cheese and then I broke apart a blackberry and used those two for the eyes. I love that. And know, very yeah. cute. It looks, it looks yummy too. I know, I can't wait to eat it later. So I'm gonna, while you're explaining, work on my next one. All right, so I did a dragonfly and for the body, I used celery. And in the middle of the celery, I used peanut butter and I actually used peanut or the chunky peanut butter because that's my favorite. And then on the back, I used some raspberries and then I tore apart two spinach leaves for the wings. And then for the second pair of wings, I actually cut, I sliced a strawberry really thin and I cut a piece in half. And so that's where I get my two wings. And then for my eyes, I actually used just, whoop, my wing fell off. I used a little bit of um, whipping or um, cool whip. And then I put uh, two peanuts on the eyes for the eyeballs. Super cute. Yeah, I like how you um, created your eyes in a different way. Like Thank you, I was trying to figure out the best way to do it. And I had this in my fridge and I was like, that's perfect. It'll really make the peanuts pop off. Right. Yeah, that's a great yeah. idea. And if you don't have peanut butter, any kind of like we use almond butter in my house and stuff, any okay. kind of thing that will hold it down. That's great. I love it. Yeah, I know. It's kind of fun to just see what you have in your refrigerator and how you can use it. Yeah, definitely. All right. So I made a butterfly and so I used orange slices for the wings. And then for the head, the, the top, I used, I sliced my antennas falling. I sliced a cucumber. And then I did grapes for down the middle. And I actually used a toothpick to, oh. to like thread the grapes through. And then for my eyes, I wasn't sure what I was gonna do, but. I, there you can see them a little bit. I had some olives in my refrigerator. So I sliced some olives. And then for the antenna, I sliced the carrot real thin. Great. And that's how I made my butterfly. I love it. So it looks great. 
Here's mine so far, my next one. Nice. Looks yeah. great. Thanks. Carlina, so, what did you do? Oh, so I did a snail. Mm -hmm. um, so for the base, I used kale and then like the cream trees to hold everything together. And then I used apple slices for the shell and the antennas. Um, and then for the eyes or the face, I used frozen blueberry, frozen blueberries, and then put the cream cheese on top of that, and then put some nuts as like little pupils and oh, whatnot. Okay. But then I would suggest maybe having thinner antennas. Mine are a little bit too chunky, um, but I do have some thinner antennas here. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's great. While we're working on these, I'm gonna tell you a little joke. Um, because I did a caterpillar, I thought it would be good to tell a caterpillar joke. So what was the caterpillar afraid of? What was the caterpillar no. afraid of? I don't know. Oh, yeah. The dogger pillar. Mm. Oh, <laughs> so I like I that. Thank you. Oh, that looks great. I made my eyeballs nice and big because I love whipped cream. So. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> really good. So we can all keep working on these so that we'll have friends to go with our first ones before we eat our friends. Yes. And um, if you'd like to see more of our craft videos, you can go to our website at www.ourspacerocks.org. Happy crafting. Bye. Bye.